it's half anxious anxiety and it's half like excited. Mm-hmm. So you just you, you just obviously choose the, the excited part of it. Yeah. But then them things are running, bruv. Your heart's going, and I feel like listen, I've done some I've done some uh, substances in my time, and it beats every one of them, every single one. Mental wealth has nearly taken me out of this world. So when it comes to being in that situation, it's like that thin line, you know what I mean? That that thin line between genius and idiocy is the same line as that one. Like it's, you're like, oh, once you've done your thing, bro, it's the best feeling in the world. Hold on, man. <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yo. One, two, one, two, Killer Keller Podcast. Live and direct, central London and central as you need to be, baby. Well, come on. Uh, big shout out to the shares and cares, people to keep it moving. You know how it is. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, the Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Um, big shout out to everyone has got the Kellervision app. Free download, iPhone, Android, for your street culture sports. Yeah? And <laughs> we're on. We're in once again. I'll tight to all the regulars once more because we've got one regular that is uh, been an avid fan of the podcast for a minute, um, yet doing a lot of damage out there. BK Residency inside. Kimes in the I'm building. Like, what are you saying, my brother? What are you saying, my brother? You good? <laughs> How you doing? I'm all good, man. I'm all good. <laughs> Trekking across the country to get here, but it's all good, my bro. <laughs> well, yeah, I see the, the clock side. We're going backwards as you were coming further north, right? Well, I think I think the time started glitching out and that. Do you know what I mean? I didn't even know where I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> time stood still. You know, things started floating in the air. Shit like Bruv, that. All matrix. Is it, man. <laughs> Fuck, too many mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> What's South saying? What's South London saying at the moment for Graph? What's happening? Bro, the hand style, I, I feel like one of them that can't be beaten, but it can't be matched. Like, mm. I've seen it over the years. And like I was out the game for a little while, do you know what I mean? Family things and that. And um, I was just seeing all the hand styles. I was like, bro, I need to get back into this. Mm. I need to get back in. And I see it and it was just bad boy. Like, you can't... South, you know it's South, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Each area's got their own way, but obviously I'm South, in it. So. Mm. You're South as in... I the South, South can be in here, so you understand. Um, brother, you're right about the hand style. You are right about the hand style. And... I don't know what's in the water to make that... You know, it's just such a huge difference between North and South, mm. I feel. You can really see it, can't you? hundred. It's just the styles and that, that. But South are, are mainly bombers, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, it was bombing, bombing, bombing. Grouties on bus stops, grouties on buses. All the windows are taken out of gr- grouties. You couldn't see any scratches, obviously. Mm. But, like, I feel like the South weren't documented enough back in the day. Mm. Like, there's a lot of, obviously centrals and the west and north but there's not a lot of south like obviously ps and them and there mm-hmm. they were doing their absolute bits and obviously mm-hmm. knees and them man were doing it in mm-hmm. ways as well <laughs> bro these these are the ones are these are the ones i was growing up looking at and thinking raw mm. then very uh, much so but then you've also got obviously you the 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 south dds with cause and take oh um, yeah but they were just everywhere yeah, you don't everywhere that like, all see everywhere like yeah. even still Causes everywhere, but yeah. you got to rate them, man. But I feel like, I mean, you've had you've had a few of them on here, like Kiss and that. Mm-hmm. Kiss back in the day, obviously. Yeah. I'm, I'm Kimes and that. So Ki, mm-hmm. like you sort of look up, not look up to them, but like you know, see them, man. You're like, raw, that's a good little style there, mm-hmm. and you adapt your thing and you do your thing to keep it south to keep London style. Because mm-hmm. I feel like London style needs to be carried on. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? There's not there's not enough people that's doing it. Everyone's, I mean, I'm a I'm a glutton for it. Like I've I've gone a little wild at the minute, but London style's got to stay, bro. Like, mm. It's 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 the it's the it's the blood. It's the it's the beginnings of it all. Like for me personally, that was the one. Mm. I, like, I, I I love wild styles and I've, I appreciate them and I, I'm I'm looking to do them. But London style. Mm. It's my stamp as well, man. Mm, <laughs> I've got yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, no, but as you were saying that, you, you know, talking about the history points and, you know, I think all of our 
DNA starts at the point of, of discovery. That's mm. our entry hole. Mm. And I remember a, a slightly different, a more southern South London style that I used to come come approached by as I was coming in from London, mm -hmm. you know, Croydon ways, people like FDC and the likes. But even before yeah. that, you know, Artful Dodger, Peckham, you know, like yeah. the 80s style, you know, mm. like there was so much activity around those areas. I remember like, who was I talking to now? <laughs> I can't remember it was. They were saying it was, there used to be like this South versus West thing that was a real deal. They used to have this kind of back and forth. Mm. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I mean, I was probably young at that point. I mean, I'm not old, but I ain't young, do you know what I mean? So like, nah. at that point, I was more sort of getting into it. And like, I think I looked the other day, because I was, like I say about the subway outfit. Mm. Like, I looked the other day, and I wrapped it from the library, innit? So on the on the library, it's got the date, the last book taken out is 1997. Stop it. And uh, it was me in Ohio. And that's where it all started. Rest in peace, Ohio. Rest in oh, peace, my For real, yeah. Rest in peace, yeah. But we went, like, we was bros. We started sketching. We were sketching, you know, like, we was just looking at Subway Art, just mm. trying to do our thing. And we was going out bombing, like, we, we was doing little trap sides. But we was young, like, mm. young, young. And I feel like now, and I feel like, oh, I used to do mad stuff back in the day. Mm. And I, like, we done it. I, I went back to the same place that me and Ohio done it the first time. And it was, it was, it, we weren't no space in it. So I just had a little reach and come off. But you know, like, it, it just felt good to be there. Yeah, yeah. Where we were. Did it bring you back all the nostalgia of. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, it was like, it's goosebumps. You know, them ones yeah. there, it was just goosebumps and just rest, in, rest in peace. Well, I love seeing his name up. Like, obviously, GH mm. said, and then, man, mm -hmm. they put it up all the time. Mm -hmm. And sadly, like, I'd, I'd lost contact when he was a little bit older. And then I see him on the train a couple of years before what happened. And um, yeah, we caught up, and it was it was great to see him. Like we used to play for the same kids' football team, bro. No like, way. Yeah, so you know each other from like back. for years, years. Like when we was since we was four, bro. Do you know what I mean? But then I lost contact when we sort of like middle way through secondary, mm. and then yeah, and it was just peak. But I just I, I just seeing him up, and obviously he used to write ache back in the day. Like mm. I don't know if no one knows that, but oh, he used to write awesome. that, and yeah. that was what we sketched back in the day. And then uh, yeah, FOP start mm -hmm. what FOP started there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I used to write with them man, when I was young. And um, yeah, they went off and all done. They went mad and started doing pff, absolute damage. But I uh, come out of it for a couple of years, family and found, found girls and that, you know what I mean? Does the nostalgia of it, is that the thing that drags you back in? That's the only thing that dragged me back. Mm. I heard about him passing and I was like, no, like we started together. Like I've got to keep his name going. I've got to, like, and that's, I've got some things today, so I'm going to do a little something for him today. Nice. As well, because uh, yeah, I just got. I ain't done a big thing for him yet, so I want to do something. And um, yeah, and there's a little bench and that people go to to commemorate him. And I feel like with Graf, mental health plays a big part in it as well. Like, and obviously where we're we're men, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're guys. Like, we don't talk about it enough. Like, we're when we're spraying the wall, bro. That's the that's the time we're forgetting about everything else. All we're on is the job in hand. And I feel like that's the time. So it's therapy, bro. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's spray therapy, isn't it? You mentioned something there about the feeling of being out in that open landscape. Um, not that I've ever experienced it, you understand? But no, it, neither have I. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, we don't try this stuff at home. No, no, uh, you know, no. We just talk about it. Yeah, we just talk about it. It's a nice little story. Mm. Um, there's a silence out there, isn't there? There's a calm. Mate, it's like, you know that before a storm? Yeah. Exactly that. <sighs> It's exactly that feeling, bro. And yeah. then, and then, and then, as soon as you start, as soon as you start doing it, well, I don't know, but apparently, this is apparently, as yeah, soon as you start true, doing yeah. it, heart races, and it's like, it's half anxious, anxiety, and it's half like excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you just, you, you just obviously choose the, the excited part of it. Yeah. But then, them things are running, bro. Your heart's going, and I feel like, <laughs> listen, I've done some, I've done some uh, substances in my time, and. It beats every one of them, every single one. Mental wealth has nearly taken me out of this world. So when it comes to being in that situation, it's like that thin line. You know what I mean? That that thin line between genius and idiocy is the same line as that one. Like it's, you're like, oh, once you've done your thing, bro, it's the best feeling in the world. Hold on, mate. So if I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, no, but that's quite suggestive that you say that. 
that you join the two adrenaline and being so close to danger with mental health and and the fact that you are close to danger mm. does that does that get, um what's the... I'll explain it yeah so it's yeah. like you live in the now so that's the problem with but mental health but the way health. that you the way that you mentioned it there you got me thinking is there a does it put power in your hands that you're so close to death? Of course. Is that where the mental health comes in? It's like, well, when I've had enough, I, I could always just, like, jump in front and of And you're that. in control of that. Right, OK. You're in control of that at that time. And being that close, you realise, well, maybe I don't want to. But you can be that close. You know what I mean? You can try it. Not that you're going to, not that people do. Like, I'm not mm. saying that you should do that, but I'm just saying that's what it feels like. You, you've got the power in your hands where if you're going through a mad spell or you're having a bit of a moment, you're not in control, bro. Mm. You're not in the power. The power's not in your hands. The power's in your mind. Mm. And until the power's in your hands, do you know what I mean? There's, no, there's nothing you can do. So if you do that, then the power's in your hands, bro. And, and, and that makes you feel in the now. And that's the thing with like mental health and that. You, you live in the past or you live in the future. And that's your that's your problem because you're preempting what's going to happen from the past, or you're guessing what might happen because of what's happened previous. So if you live in the now, bro, that's the best place to live, and that's where you are when you're there. Does the does the feeling of space and almost like tranquility, like the quietness, the like you say, the calm before the storm, mix with the creative, where you can do whatever you want. That, it's all of that and it's, freedom and it's, and it's the brotherhood as well you know mm. what I mean like obviously BK and that big up BK my yeah, guys like BK come on big P and that mm -hmm. you know who you are mm -hmm. but um mm -hmm. yeah so like when pff, listen when you're with your brothers and that you're out you're doing stuff like and you're looking after you're looking out for each other you know what I mean not not like the army and that you get me but like mm. you're, it's a brotherhood and if if you see something coming or someone else sees something, you're 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 gonna help each other. Like you you, you can't mm. not. Mm. Have you ever had any close scrapes where you lit genuinely? That's the one I was talking about with the t-shirt. Go on. So yeah, um, in a, in a distant reality, I was on on the side, and uh, just doing the chrome and black, boom, doing doing my thing, and I look like that, and I see them dreaded two lights, and it was a single single one, and it was mm. close, but. And back then I was fat, yeah. So mm -hmm. I was a lot bigger, but I used to wear big t-shirts, innit? Because mm -hmm. obviously you didn't want to see all the rolls in it. Mm -hmm. So I was doing my thing, done, done that, I was like, rah. I just I didn't have no gloves on or nothing, bang, straight on the chrome, yeah. <laughs> I must have looked like a robot walking home. <laughs> but like, and I, and I, I had my ex in, the, like, this is there when I was young, like young, on the phone, on loudspeaker at the same time. So she's heard that coming, I've gone boom. Uh, next thing, you know, because my T-shirt was so big. Mm. Imagine going on 10 roller coasters at the same time. That's what I can explain it like. That is being that close. You know, like, it must be like magicians. You see when they do their mad tricks when they're underwater and that? Yeah. And they're trying to get out. Yeah. That adrenaline must be the same. The, the difference, though, from a roller coaster <laughs> is you wear, you know, <laughs> straps to keep you from falling. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, is, but that's the fun of it, isn't it? The, what, the thought of maybe... Not, not having the straps. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, Imagine you'd done a roller coaster with no straps and you had to hold on yourself. That, that was the feeling. feeling? I'd say so. That being that close. You know what I mean? If you're just running about doing your thing and you're away from it, then nah, but... Kimes, here's the thing, though. I've had some people on here um, that have had it happen to them really closely and they they said you know this some like PTSD where you just kind of you come off an experience where you feel like you nearly died bro sometimes I feel like I'm going to be sick before I've even done it that's crazy I know those feelings obviously doing gigs and that mm -hmm. I know when it's like oh I feel like I feel sick it's, it's going to be so intense just yeah. even walking onto the stage yeah. to a certain that moment Eminem, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah 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 mom spaghetti it's horrible um, so I know where that comes. I know you. I know that feeling too well. Mm. But I know I'm not gonna potentially kill myself. No, this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> and it's again just distressed. These, these are <coughs> reality conversations. We don't advise you doing this at home. No, uh, right? No, no, no. 
um, nice little This is what stories. we used, made earlier. Yeah, it's one we made earlier. Nice <laughs> stories. Where did it all begin, brother? Where did you? Where did it all start? How old were you? Where were you? And what was your occupation at the time? Seven. <laughs> yeah. Seven, bro. I was seven when I started looking at like obviously the subway art with Ohio and that, bro. <sighs> we was in primary school and that, doing bits. I, uh, in fact, I broke my leg. Uh, no, I didn't break my leg. I, f I sprained it, but I was in a cast. It was right. that. It was a bad one. And I had to stay in for like six weeks. I couldn't go out in the playground and that. Yeah, mm. me in Ohio was just sitting in the, in the hall bit, just sketching, bro, just sketching, 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 like the whole six weeks when we was in primary school and that. And that's where it started there. Like that was that was it. And then back in the day, like sort of where I'm, I'm from, obviously I'm not gonna say, but where I'm from, it was quite hot in the area. Like graph, like, everyone graphed. Like even if you couldn't graph, like people just graphed because it was a thing. Mm. You know what I mean? And and that was like, it just spurred everyone on. There was a little like building and derelict in that, but you could see it from main roads on the buses to mm -hmm. the schools, rare, rare, rare. So a lot of the PS boys used to hear it. So we used to hear it as well, being young bods, like, and you could practice, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And still be seen. And I feel like that's where my roadside thing come from. Mm -hmm. I love roadside. Do now. you? BK boys love a good, you know, mm -hmm. signpost, don't you? You yeah. love a good track roadside. Yeah. I love a roadside, man. Yeah. Because I know the good, I know sick plots, like, and it's not even that dangerous, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> like, it's more a chance of getting nabbed more than getting chased by them ones there, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because like, the traffic police are always around. Bro, I'm old school, innit? And this is the thing I wanted to talk about as well. Go on. I'm old school, yeah? I come from 2000, uh, 1997, yeah? Obviously, I was a kid, but, like, mm. I grew from them times, yeah? Mm -hmm. So... We didn't used to go each over each other, bro. Mm -hmm. If you found a plot, that was your plot then. You found that, you done that. And obviously we didn't have these apps and that people use now. Mm. So you couldn't just find them. You had to do your research and go and, and plot up and do your thing. So they were yours. Now it's a free for all. Mm. And I know there's areas where you could do that, like hackneys. And... No, but not when you're doing something illegal on a plot that you've found. This is what I'm saying. Because you're risking, you've risked yeah. your life to yeah, do you've that. you've already risked it. In, in, you've risked your life, you've risked your freedom. I've always thought that. To oh. do that. And it's it's the old school thing, yeah? So t obviously throwies go over tags. Yeah. Dubs go over throwies. Burners go over dubs. Everything. Yeah. Uh, everything. And then you've got the kings that will go take that. Uh, fat so is done on that yeah. strop, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, you just take it out, but... Then it's fair, bruv, like, but yeah, so, nah, I've had some throwies go over my wild star recently, so really? yeah, it's peak. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. is what it is, bruv. No, but I feel you, and that's something that is quite an age-old argument, because obviously in this day and age with Hall of Fame's essentially just becoming a free fall, people can do what they want on it, which is fine. Fair. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not the honey traps they used to be. Nah. But when it comes to those plots, well, you know, it's really important to, you know what I mean, there's... Plenty of space to go around. You don't need to be doing other things. And this is why I love motorways, bro. No one's done them as much yet. It's, it's a new thing. I know, I know a few a few buds, and they, they, they will always find you. Yeah? They will go to a legal war and find the best, like, a roadside at a legal. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, bro, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a plot. You've done yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Roadside at a legal. Yeah. Yeah, that's something else. But then that, that gets taken out pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. That's the, I, know, I know of one that's lasted three months. Really? Um, yeah, big up Ames. Ames. Oh, hold tight. Um, <laughs> what, so what, what down south I'm imagining? Yeah, no, nah, leak, innit? Yeah, of course, on the top there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've right. done, yeah. I uh, stayed there for like a, two months. Yeah, that's hard. And now it's been dog dog. Yeah, of course, it will. Oh, toy as well. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, bad. That's the problem with Hall of Fames, man. I mean, uh, do you know what it is, yeah? We, I was speaking about this to Iris last night. Big up, Iris. Come on, gluten yeah, gang. Yeah, hold tight, Iris. Yeah. Um, I was speaking to him last night, like, fucking... I think the thought has gone now, so I shouted out, shouted out Iris. <laughs> <laughs> See, his third Iris lost control of what he was saying. Um, yeah, so in terms of uh, Hall of Fames. To what, what it was, we was originally talking about, yeah, because basically we'd done a Hall of Fame the other day. Right. And someone just hit it with throwies over it mm. and just took it all out. I mm. won't mention who it is. Mm. But, and that, that's what we was talking about. And the fact that, oh, that was it. So basically, yeah, if you've got a Hall of Fame, we think... If you walk down the Hall of Fame and you're a paint, you're a writer and you're doing your, you're doing a little legal one for the day, whatever, just wasting some time. Walk up and down it, yeah. If you see toy, if you see, like it's just dog, do you know what I mean? From them poxy tour things, mm. then take that out in it. But don't yeah. like, why are you gonna go over a burner, bruv? Yeah, yeah. With that a chrome and black, just because you're bored there. Like, go walk up and down and find it. Like, yeah. 
And we were, we were saying like, the, the Hall of Fame should be, you want to make the, the best art of there. So when the posh ones walk down there, they're mm. like, oh, actually, it's quite nice. Mm. And, and then they start wanting murals and, and rare tear tear when you can make your money from it. Yeah, that's you know right. what I mean? But like, that's another subject as well, making money from this thing, Bob. Yeah, it's controversial. Even now, strangely enough, it's still controversial. Very. But like, uh, like there's some man that I rate, like Abbott's bro. I rate yeah, him for yeah. doing what he's yeah, doing. And he's doing, he's doing it. Abbots. He's doing it how you should. I feel. Yeah. But there's some, there's yeah, there's some man that get called sellouts and that. But I feel like I don't know, man. If you can make bread, then mm. as long as you're not as long as you're not selling out. Do you know what I mean? There's a moment. There's a moment in every artist. Uh, journey of going from, and this is historically referenced, documented. You understand? It's not, it's not, not, not my sudden idea, but it's true. When your peers suddenly become your customers, mm, mm, and mm. actually, and I say that affectionately because when your peers start hating on you for doing things that are new, progressive, or income revenue bringing, mm -hmm. then. That the, the critique is feedback. It's customer feedback. Yeah, like it's it's hard because, like, I feel like canvases are okay. I don't know. Mm. Do you? I think so. I I I, I don't. I think canvases, maps, and maps and canvases. They're half and the problem. Cans. They're not even half the problem. Like no. I, I think it's. I think it's more. I feel like they're blessed. Like them three are blessed. Yeah. If you make money from them, you're all right. Yeah, yeah. But if you start like I don't know. I don't even know. Like maybe. So it's an attitude. It's a it's a it's a turnaround of of product that perhaps you'd say to yourself, that doesn't correlate with what your initial attitude to doing graph was. And also, we don't do it for cloud, bro. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know because like things will start getting changed, and we've all start got got to start getting other things. If that makes sense. No, that does not make sense. What do you mean? It will do to you lot. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, right. But, yeah. So I, I, yeah, I don't know, man. Like I feel like if, yeah, if you're doing them three things, you're blessed. But if you start selling out, then I don't rate that. Mm. But yeah, Abbott's is hard. I rate yeah. him. Who else do you rate? Who else do you rate that's moving in those? You know, got their movements happening. That's what I mean, bro. Like, I don't even... It's I, rare, I, isn't it? Mainly it's Abbott's, like, I don't even, like, rate too many men like that. But like, in And I don't know too many, really, because mm. I don't look into that. I want to see dirty graph. You know what I mean? I want to see them chrome and black, big, massive, yeah. fat burners. Big ups, Billy. Like, that's what I want to see. Obviously, I like seeing wilds, but that's at jams and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. uh, them ones there, like, if you're going to go into a jam doing Alan Gardens or something like that, mm. bro, hit a bad boy, a wild star. I'd love to see that. Mm. Bro, I'd like. I would rather be on the fucking train chugging along, ta -ta 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 -ta, looking at them dirty chrome. Wouldn't we all? I mean, it's just such a. It's part of the London tapestry. It's like mm. sometimes I see burners, and I know that I'm in the right area of town <laughs> just because just because the right area is residing around. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm in North now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm coming yeah. east. South. Yeah. Chrome. Do you know what I'm saying? It's mainly chrome in South. You got it's, it's, it's South, but I love it. I love it. I'm all about that. I've had my fingers turn looking like a robot, but yeah. <laughs> Big up the glove gang. <laughs> Big up the glove gang. For more than one reason, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. You've got quite a well versatile uh, p uh, person within the arts, aren't you? You know, you've you've you know you've dabbed your hand in in lots of different kind of not just graphing, you know. Yeah, like I'd, I mean, I if I got a commission, bro, I love it. If I can, if I if I can do that, and. Mainly, I don't do pictures in commissions. I do graph in commissions. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So like, when it comes, I done one for Ben J R the other week. Mm -hmm. uh, big up NST for that. Um, yeah, that was hard, bro. Like, mm. They bought us all loops and that. They got us pizzas, bro. Beers, banging out the oh, tunes. Mate. Bang out tunes. Yeah, bro. And we got them coats, them them coats in it. You know the drippy yeah, ones. Of course. Yeah, we got them and the tracksuit bottoms, bro. And then yeah, we just blessed. But that's what I'm saying. Like that's the. the I'm Those old. Days. I'm old school, innit? Yeah. So I'm like, what if I, you could do something for me? I'll do something for you. Mm -hmm. like, and and, we, and if that works, then we're blessed. And that's what it was like. There was like, oh, come, like, take your time out of your day to do your thing. God, and I love that. Those days are the the precious memories, isn't it? Bro, it's sick. It was just it was just banging like bare people. Like well, we had to keep face away, innit? Mm. <laughs> but there's bare people. Like the kids coming up to us, bro. Like this is this is another thing I was gonna mention. Like when I was a kid. 
I used to love looking at graph. Like, uh, what's the point of going on the train if you can't see nice mad things, colours, yeah. people jumping up heaven spots and that? Yeah. I used to love it. So when this little, this little, uh, I think it was like a little Polish lad come up, and he was asking questions. He was like, "Oh, what's this?" and da da da. And I was chatting to him, like probably like giving him advice, trying to help him out. And um, it was just nice to see the youth still w wanting to be involved in that. And I, yeah. and I. I feel like that's the only good thing I like about this generation, this young generation, mm. is they're in that kind of world where they're going to be okay with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If they see someone doing a full colour, they're going to be like, oh, my God, like, let's, let's catch it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, rather than, let's ring the police or let's, let's put it on Fix My Street. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> fix My Street. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, bro. Stop it. I what? swear to God. Fix my feet. Like, <laughs> oh my no, because it's going to sound booky, but if you... <laughs> neighborhood watch shit. You could get someone buffed in it and then do the, do the wall. Love that. But I don't do that shit. My mum's <laughs> my mum's laugh if I do that shit, but you could, innit? <laughs> Yo, I know graffiti writers that I haven't... Not in the UK. This is in another country. Mm -hmm. um, that actually do that job. As a business, they clean streets, no way. but then they're writers Go themselves. On it. Oh, it's just incredible. I mean, it's that's a genius sick. idea, you know. No, I've heard of people paying nitties and that to yeah. go and dog it. Yeah. But no, no, no. That's as far as I've, I've heard in this country. But Paying nitties to dog it, do they do that too? Yeah, not any. I know, I know but I've heard someone has said they've heard yeah. of it happening. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, they their, wouldn't surprise like their, me at all. Like their piece, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like they're like, bro, my piece got dogged. Go and do a Nazi pace. sign over on that and then, yeah, it's shit. And like then that. instant you could just go over that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Like, yeah. Fuck them, man. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, exactly. you know, yeah, fuck them. Enough. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. And also, you can still use that slogan, that one slogan, you put it up on anyone's wall and they get. Everyone gets so offended that they need, they'd be happy to have you go and yeah, do a piece. Yeah, right? yeah, bruv. Imagine it. Imagine they put something, imagine they put a little one in my eye or something like that. I'd be like, oh my days, Fuming. go and take it out now. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be messaging people, go and take it out. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit, bruv. But yeah, I don't, I don't like all that, man. That's no. why I don't, I don't do them. That's legal. kind of war tactics. That's why it? I don't like legals, that bruv. Because yeah. that just that just happens anyway. Especially well, that's them why, tours, bruv. And that's oh. why I don't rate Leak Street that much. Because it is... It, hate, you, you can do a nice fucking badass burn and then, you know, oh. some teacher comes around with some shuddy cans and then... Listen, when I come back into it, yeah, I, I'm, I went up there, Just I was like, right, I'm going to practice doing my thing so I've got it locked when I do do the noise. Mm. I've got it locked. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing, I'm doing my thing and then Mr. SCE... I don't know if you've heard of him, okay. but he's like a, like a mural artist chair, but he was there and I was like, oh, do you want to do a little collab while we're here? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So boom, done the purple one. You'll, if you look on my ground, you'll see it. Have a look. The per it's like a purple one with like space theme background and that, yeah? Bruv, he done a fucking spaceman, yeah? Mm. He got someone to take a picture on his phone of us two standing looking at the dub. He then took the, obviously he used the doodle thingy, yeah? Uh -huh. No, he didn't with us. No, he didn't. I'll, let, I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. Um, and he he basically sprayed our reflection in the space spaceman. That's mad. In the hell in the visor. Wow. The okay. Bro, literally, put the cans away, walked down to talk to someone else, looked up. My man was banging a toy chrome and black burner on it. What? Oh mate. We walked up there, we was like, bro, why? Like it's the paint's not even wet. He was like, oh, what do you mean? I was like, touch that. And he touched it and he was like, Oh, sorry, bruv. Just done the dirty chrome outline straight over the Spaceman helmet, straight over my K and I. I was like, I'll never paint in here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, <laughs> I was like, actually, I'm going to go back with a ladder and hit the hot up, up the top because yeah. it's a bastard. Yeah, yeah. And I'm old, bruv. I swear Cherry God, picker yeah, shit. No, it should have been, but I'm on the ladder there, yeah, <laughs> telescopic. It's like that. I'm leaning back like that. And I was like... I'll come home. I was like, oh, mate, I've got to have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've enough of this. I haven't eaten. I've a bath and a split. That's it. I needed it just to rest me back. I'm getting old of that, bruv. But I'll tell you this much. You writers never cease to amaze me in your tenaciousness in, like, you don't care if you've eaten, you don't care if you're drinking, you don't care if you're doing anything, you'll climb anything, you'll mm. do it, you'll get to anywhere, you're doing it, you don't care you get the job done and even when you come back it ain't like you're sleeping too quickly you can have a drink get absolutely fucking hot but you're still buzzing from, the, the, from, the, from that night like you must be when you, you know when you do a performance yeah, you yeah. come home you've got yeah. at least an hour and a half yeah, 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 to, to, to calm yeah. down before is that the same bro same thing same thing you got to pre-roll pre -roll your things yeah. so you're all ready yeah. you got to charge your headphones and everyone yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. your gloves in there and that <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean make sure every, you've got everything right the colours and that oh, I've, got, I've got enough for outlines I've got enough dark colours, rare, rare, rare. 
bruv, this is what it's about, man. I love it. I love it. Like, it's it's a passion. Like, see, I've got sort of, like, ADHD and that, yeah? So I can, like, sort of hyper-focus on things, yeah? So I'll, I'll ride bikes and that, yeah? Like, big bikes and that. I've got proper license. Nice. So I ride bikes, yeah? So I'm hyper-focused on bikes, yeah? And then, obviously, when that happened to... I heard about when that happened to Ohio... I was like, boom, my man flicked a graph straight away. And then really? ever since then, that was it. I'm like on fucking eBay, picking up the early graphitisms. Mm. I'm fucking buying all the newest magazines because obviously BK are in day and night. And then you got the new one, Lee, mm -hmm. is it Lee's one? Yeah, Lee's one, you mm -hmm. know Lee? No, 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 tell they, me. He's like the fucking, what did I see the other day? Someone said he's like the um, Peter Parker of graph. Right. Like, bro, like, Big P said the other day, he was like, bro, he was like, I don't know how he's done that, but I'm sure the paint's not even wet. Wow. Like, you've got a flick, like, and he's, and he's done it into a Magna. So, yeah, wow. big up that. And then all the money goes to Calm as well. Oh, hold uh, tight. Mental health and Love so that. Big up that, bro. Yeah, I'll break that. that. County I'll... Lines as well, and of course, for UK Frontline. Frontline. Yeah, bro, of course. I've done yeah. a little thing with Frontline. Yeah. I've done a little thing about Ohio and, and, the, and the mental health thing as well. Yeah, big up. You go front line all day, man. Um, but up, also, raftisms, man. Like, they don't give it. Some of them. I'm looking at this one. Man. I was looking at what number issue that is. I was yes. like, hey, hey. That's a six in the pace, yeah, T Kid. I've only got 30. I've only got issue 30, bruv. Yeah. I, um, ugh, listen, my old dear's on CD and that, bruv. She used to throw shit Stop away, bruv. Stop it. My mum's life. Do you know how many TN hats she thrown away? No. I went on eBay the other day, yeah, bruv. They're like a bill each. What? Yeah, old TNs. You know the floppy? Oh, my Remember God. Remember the floppy yeah, P? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I've got one of them in my loft. Fuming. Bro, I've still got it. I've still got it now. Oh, good. Bro, they're like 250. But, because they're like some mad peak, they've all it all cracks like, yeah, a, that's like, a, right. like a tile, bro. Yeah. So it's all like that. So, But that must be as well. Unless yeah. he's kept it in a fucking cryo chamber or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, take it down the Saatchi gallery now. Yeah, you know. bro. Get, uh, get, uh, get it, get I'm it, get it. I'm scared boxed. of going there, bro. What, the, the Saatchi? Saatchi yeah, man. Because firstly, I'd want to reach somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen a few spots in that wall that's they've got a little space yeah. ready for little climbs reach. Yeah. All the signs going down the tube. I'm like, right, that's... Yeah. <laughs> really? You promoting that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, it's almost like... It's... Homage, bro. It's homage, yeah. It's just bonkers the way that it's culturally appropriated now. I think yeah. that's why I think about it. I'm like, yeah, it's mad. I, I feel like Shoreditch and them ways done that. Yeah, I think they did do but that. But like, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a good place where you can just... I don't know, bro. It's a... I think it's because I'm old, isn't it? And I'm just like, I'm getting to a point where I'm fucking getting old. I'm getting old, man. <laughs> getting old. You're getting old. Like, I, yeah, but I'm like, you're young, I but say, no, but I got, I got, I got, I got, I got kids in that. Mm. Well, so that make I, you, that'll age you. That'll age you. I feel you. like you see, like dog years, yeah. Mm. Like one, one, <laughs> one human year, seven dog years, yeah. Like yeah. one human year is seven dad years. Yeah, I get you. You get me, like that's. I feel like you see them grow, right? You see the kids grow. That's what. That's this the, is it. That's well, I don't want to talk too much on them anyway. But no, yeah, no, no, I'm no. old, bruv. But What's yeah. the future, my brother? What's the future for things, bro? I don't want to bait myself out, in it. Mm. But like, I want to do. I want to do moves. Yeah. Yeah, missions. Mm. I want to do missions, bruv. Because I ain't got no. You know them. See them atmosphere shots. Everyone gets. Mm. Bopping along them ones there. Beautiful. Yeah, with them lights and that flash. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. I need them because like I didn't get them when I was young because you just didn't. No. Like, unless you had like well, to be fair, that's another reason why I started as well because like I used to like a bit of photography with um, Polaroid and that. Yeah, yeah. So when Polaroid first started banging out, I was like, ah, oh, this is sick. Like you can have photos like, mm -hmm. and don't even have to go nowhere and get baited for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, bro, like, I looked the other day through my collection. I've got a couple, like, uh, was it TSV and that? Old school, before Whoa. IPN, yeah? Before IPN. And then you got a knees reach on there. Lovely. And, um, bro, I looked at the pictures, yeah, and I was like, I jumped on tracks to get that picture. I was nine. Oh, my God. I was nine, bro. The railway children. See that film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much that. Yeah, bro. Like, I was nine, and I was like, hold up a minute. I couldn't, you can't zoom on them ones there. You had to, you had to, be, be, you had to there. be there, and I'm like, right, the track is there, bro. I'm like, I was, I was on there at nine. Like that's, that's brazy, bro. I had yeah. no fear, none. Now there's a little bit. What did your mum say if she saw that you were doing that? Bro, it was a mad one because it was like, because I got into graffiti, I didn't get into anything else. Mad. Like I didn't even start bunning until like, I was like eighteen. <laughs> So it kind of saved you from doing all the Yeah, like, stuff. until a later age, obviously, when I got kicked out. Mm. But, like, that, that's it kind of saved me. But she always used to say, like, obviously... That's interesting. 
She used to say, don't do it on anyone's property. Mm. Don't do it on anyone's, if it's government, whatever. But like, if don't do it on anyone's property, rare, rare, rare. So I was like, all right. So when I see people do vans and that now, yeah, I'm like, oh, duh. Oh, I love box fan box fans, man. Yeah, but like, see the see the see the Whitechapel ones, mm. bless, because they're mm. they're battered. Yeah, yeah. So like, if you're gonna put something nice on it, I'm sure they probably like. I've and heard, the Camden I've ones heard as well. They like it. Yeah, yeah the see, Camden I, ones. I ain't well. really seen. I ain't really been them ways. I'm that's opposite side of London. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, so like, you see them and they're battered. And you're like, yeah, that's cool, bro. But you see like fucking. Some geezer in his like, well, try transit van trying to go to work and earn a bit of dough and that, and mm -hmm. then you just see a big old reach on the side. You're like, ah, oh. <laughs> like I rate the reach, but I don't really, because uh, uh, I've been there, bruv. I've been that guy. So mm -hmm. if that was me, I'm like, oh, bruv, I'm gonna look shit, shit pulling up to some yard trying to fucking mm -hmm. do a quote and that, and then you know what I mean, got but, yourself a yeah, like, back, yeah, but but I rate the Whitechapel ones and, mm -hmm. and the, obviously the Camden ones, like mm -hmm. you say, but yeah, but that thing. So like that's where it sort of bred from me. Like that was. Like, don't do anyone's property. You do if you're gonna do something. Do green boxes. Like when yeah. I was a kid, I was just a green box massive, bro. I was yeah. Like and I remember, like I was about what fourteen, and we was all like in a, like chilling and that. And then Wizkid, hmm. remember Wizkid? Yeah, of course, yeah. P.S. Wizkid. That's it, yeah. I remember. So the girl I was going out with at the time, her sister, her sister's boyfriend knew him. And they were down there, yeah? And I was like, what, Ra, Wiz I was like 14, I was like, Ra, what, Wiz kids coming, yeah? Because he had a bad boy Z. Mm -hmm. That Z he was did, yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah. So I was like, Ra, he's coming, yeah? So he, he just walked up, I was like, oh, Wiz kids, yeah? I was like, oh, God, I'm kind of, uh, like, gas as a little yeah, young yeah, yeah. and that. And then I had a little reach with him and that. I was like, well, yeah, this is sick. And same <laughs> with Doubter, bro. I told him this the other day. I met him again the other day. Before. Big up Doubter. Yeah, big up Doubter. Big Doubter, bro. Yeah. Fucking oh, yeah, yeah, But yeah, so I, <laughs> I got on the bus. And I had all chrome fingers and that. And he was at the back. And he was like, well, you right, yeah? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, ah. Oh. He was like, what do you write? I was like, ah, oh, Kaz. He was like, I was like, what do you write? He was like, doubt. I was like, what? Rah, mad. Mm. I was like, we got doubt, yeah? He was like, yeah, yeah, sweet, bruv. Got off. We had a little reach safest with the chrome dude. and that. We had a little reach. S safest guy, He got guy, back man. on the bus, bruv. He's a safe guy, man. Yeah. Safe guy, bruv. But yeah. So that was, that was like... All the sort of reasons why I got into it, and obviously hip hop as well, bro. Mm -hmm. Like hip hop was a was a big thing, like break beat and that back mm -hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that was that was the thing. Like drum and bass was my thing. Like, yeah, obviously a lot of, a lot of us graph heads are drum and bass heads as well. Too right. Because you know right. what I mean? Go to the rave, bring a little something, yeah. do it afterwards. Boom, 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 boom. Like, but it all falls hand in hand. It's like just your soundtrack to what you're doing, isn't it? Really, mm, literally. Yeah. Like like Bazer put one up. Big up Bazer. He put a like video of us doing a little roadside. All feds are going past and that. Like fucking old. Big bill. up Bazer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fucking. Like he just put this banging drum and bass tune. It was like one of the ones from White Trash. You know, yeah, yeah. White, White Trash and that. Ooh, White Trash. Bruv, that's one of my favourites. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. That is what. Like it's just dirty damage, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Swag and that. Yeah, big the up dirty ones, bruv. Just Big up Venger. Bruv. Oh, mate, yeah. it, was, it was mad. Boom, boom. It was mad, but yeah. So that they that was the reason why mm. I got in. And then when I got in, I just fucking I didn't get out for years. Mm. Loved it. Mm. Still do, still. I, I don't think I will ever not. And now, like when I'm out with my family and that, they're clocking it. Really? Is that you? Is that you? Is that you? Is that your one? Is that your one? Like, and I'm like, nah, nah, I ain't. Stop baiting Evolution me out. Evolution begins. Stop baiting me out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <coughs> but um, yeah, I've just got more. Like I started back and I was like, right, I'm doing London Star. But then every sort of time I do a dub, I've, I've got a stamp. I do my stamp, but now I'm like, I need to do a different style every time. Like, yeah, it seems to me like you you're really pushing your your own boundary of like what you're trying to achieve on this is it but like, I feel like when you get to a certain stage you can only go up like you can't keep doing the same things or I've mm. like like Deems and that bro mm. he's got a stamp bro and like mm. I fucking I muck about with him every time but then he, he's like no what are you talking about sends me all these mad styles with his little PS worm coming out and that bro like big up Six. Deems yeah yeah but um yeah like, and I'm like ah oh. but like I said that I muck about with him say so he's got a stamp I used to, used to send him pictures of stamps and that but like it is a thing, but like that's how you get noticed, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's how you get like your the style. Repetition. You get your notice, the repetition, and I don't do that, bruv. Yeah, I feel like, <laughs> like I do a wild yeah. style, and everyone's like, "What's that say?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, and then people know me, know that it's, it's an adaption of my little box style to the to going off and fucking going through each other and shadows and rare, rare, rare. Yeah, just trying to keep it moved. But yeah, it's 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 good, like bro. This is what I'm saying. Just style, man. So it's, it's all about style. Like I rate people being up. I rate that. 
but I do rate style. Mm. Like, if there's battles on Instagrams and whatever, I, I'll go more style mm. over over them as a writer being up. Mm. And, yeah, that's what I rate, personally. Mm. Like, obviously, and I rate, I rate hand styles, bro. Yeah, hand styles. I love, a, I love a fat cap hand style. Oh, yeah. I love, and my favourite, 10 mil cutter. Mm. Ooh. 10 mil cutter, bro. Man, them, cover, them covers all mops, bro. <laughs> Yeah. The buff man ain't got me with them, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're naughty. I like them, you know. My brother, it's been a pleasure having you on. Love my bro. My guy. It's been sick. Kimes in the Finally building. Here, man. Come Finally on, here. Come love, on. Love, man. BK in the place. Big up, BK. Yeah. Love, love. South London, south of the river, where he's residing, Kimes, all right? Listen, sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Kill a killer podcast, Alec. In was out of fashion. Crime don't pay. Neither did they. Don't talk to her, no, I wouldn't. Stay lucky, people. Peace. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh.